Hi, today's problem is going to be about population genetics, and here is a problem. In the following set of data, calculate allelic and genotypic frequencies and determine whether the populations are in Hardy Weinberg proportions. Do a statistical test is if one is appropriate, and uh, here's uh, uh, our uh, data. Uh, allele that is uh, capital A is dominant to uh, recessive allele that is small a, and we have two phenotypes here. So here is going to be one phenotype that is going to be uh, dominant, and here is a second one that is going to be recessive. So uh, in order to solve this problem, we would need uh, to use Hardy-Weinberg formula. If you know how to solve this problem, you may stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is a Hardy-Weinberg formula that gives us uh, frequencies of different uh, genotypes and phenotypes, so F here would stand for the frequencies, and uh, it's going to equal to P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared and all these frequencies when we add them up uh, would equal to 1. So all the alleles P plus all the alleles Q would equal to 1. And here in this formula P squared stands for the homozygous uh, dominant genotype, 2PQ stands for the heterozygous genotype and Q squared stands for the homozygous recessive genotype. So as you see, those we have here three genotypes. Uh, these three genotypes are made by only two types of alleles. One is dominant allele A and uh, P stands for the dominant allele A. And another type of alleles here is recessive allele A. So Q stands for the uh, recessive allele A. So, uh, if we add all uh, these two types of alleles, we're also going to get one, the same as here. So, uh, how we are going to solve this problem? This would be easier. So, we have two uh, phenotypes here. So, this is going to be uh, one phenotype, and this is going to be the second phenotype. So these two genotypes would make one phenotype, because this is simple Mendelian genetics, and uh, heterozygous uh, would look the same as homozygous dominant, and homozygous recessive would look differently. And we know that we have nine uh, such genotypes, so we can put this number here, and this is going to be nine here, and we have uh, 91 such uh, phenotypes here. And uh, of course, uh, as you see, uh, 9 here stands for the homozygous recessive genotype, and uh, we can say that this uh, can be 9 people if we are talking about populations of peoples, and uh, here we would have 91 uh, different uh, genotypes that would stand for the, say, 91 people. So, together we have 100 people here. So, we can calculate uh, the frequency of occurrence of this uh, genotype. What we have to do, we have just to uh, divide 9 by total number of people, and this is going to be uh, total number of people here, 100. So, um, we have to divide by total number of people and the frequency of the uh, homozygous uh, genotype, homo, uh, homozygous recessive genotype would be 0 0.09. So, we can put frequency here and this is going to be 0 0.09. So, we know now that Q squared equal to 0 0.09, so we can find Q, and Q 
would so we now uh, know that q squared equal to 0 0.09 so in order to find q we just have to take square root from both sides and we are going to get 0 0.3 and this is going to be frequency of the q so if we know uh, the frequency of the q that is going to be equal to 0 0.3 so we instantly would know the frequency of the p so it's very easy calculations as you see and this is going to be 0 0.7 and when we know uh, frequency of the allele p or dominant allele we can find uh, this frequency of this genotype we just have to square this number so we have to square 0 0.7 and we would know p squared so if we know that p equal to 0 0.7 p equal to 0 0.7 so we can find p squared and this is going to be 0 0.7 squared so the frequency of this uh, genotype would be 0 0.49 and we can put this frequency here 0 0.49 and um, it's easy to find the frequency of this heterozygous genotype when we know the frequency of the homozygous recessive of the homozygous dominant and we know that when we add all the three um, frequencies we should get 1 or we just can uh, calculate using this part of the formula so frequency of the heterozygous genotype would be 2pq 2pq and we have uh, numbers for p and this is going to be 0 0.7 so multiplied by p that is 0 0.7 and multiply it by uh, number q that is 0 0.3 so multiply it by 0 0.3 and we are going to get here um, 0 0.42 and this is going to be a frequency of the heterozygous genotype 0 0.42 and uh, as you see when we add up all the three frequencies we are going to get uh, 1 so just like uh, in our formula above so we solve uh, this uh, problem correctly and now we just have to check if uh, so we do have to do a statistical test if one appropriate and uh, what we can say here that uh, we have two phenotypes here so this is going to be one phenotype so these two genotypic groups would make one phenotype and here is a second uh, phenotype so we have uh, two phenotypes and we also have uh, two type of alleles uh, dominant allele A and recessive allele A here it is uh, one type of alleles so this is going to be one type of allele and this is going to be second type of allele so when we deduct two uh, from two we are going to get zero so we have zero degree of uh, freedom and that means that we cannot do a chi-square test for this hardy weinberg proportions because uh, for that test we need at least one degree of freedom so uh, this is going to be uh, our answer for the uh, statistical test this is uh, going to be not appropriate here and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please um, write your comments questions if you have any 
and see you in the next video. Goodbye.